Now, a slightly scarcer Blanford bug is the tanks and other armoured fighting vehicles, 1900 to 1918, and always in demand by the, the military model and people. It gives a good reference to World War I British and German tanks, and there's some nice sectional drawings of the layout of the inside of World War I British and German tanks, and that's why it's always a difficult book to find. Um, so this is tanks and other armoured fighting vehicles, 1900 to 1918. So I'll have a quick glance through that. But I would recommend you see if you can find one. If you need the World War I military vehicles, then this is quite a lot of um, military vehicle books. Don't really have World War I vehicles in. So this is one of the better ones on the market. Came out in 1980. It still remains a really good book on World War I vehicles. And that's probably why it's difficult to find. So tanks and other armoured fighting vehicles, 1900 to 1918. And again, mine was an ex library one, probably cost about 20 pence. We'll skip the text. And it starts, or it finishes, 1918. And it goes backwards. Quite a good selection of armoured cars and tanks. Superb reference for the model maker. An enthusiast alike. Quite a lot of armoured cars, you can maybe scratch build. And I think wherever it's at, there is quite a good... Wherever I've seen it at. No, I don't think I'm going to find it. There he is. There we are, there's... there's sectional looks inside various World War One tanks. And there's the differences of the various World War One tanks. All on two pages. And again there. So it is worthwhile sourcing out just for these interior drawings. So anyway, tanks and other armoured fighting vehicles 1900 to 1918 quite difficult to find it so if you're in the military vehicles of the period you can't go wrong with this one